The problem that we have in Nigeria is all largely because of lack of love. If we, there is love, love will protect. What, what about people taking money to pastors and mega churches who are buying planes and are building all kinds of buildings when their neighbors cannot eat three square meal? What kind of nonsense is that? And you are saying you are Christian just because pastor will see you and shake your hand and pray for you and make you feel good or you're going to dance and sit in some special seats? When you're a human being like you cannot eat, what about if it had been you in, that, in, the, in the person's place? You are taking millions to church. When your own mother, your father, people in your village don't even have anything to use. They cannot eat, they cannot, no, they don't have electricity, they don't have water, they don't have anything. And you are taking all that money to some people who already are living large? It doesn't make sense. Love will care for the less privileged. Love will care for the needy. Not the ones who are already op opulent. Who is already living in opulence and opulence by himself. Love will do the right thing. We don't know love in that country. We are in problem. We don't know love. We've not been taught love. You will leave orphans. We have 10 million children that are out of school in Nigeria. And people are building all kind of structures to glorify themselves. Buying planes and just, you know how much it costs to, carry, to park plane for one day? 40, 40, minimum $40,000 just to park a day. Do you know how much it takes, it takes to send a, a, a child to school for a year in Nigeria? $30. That's in Lagos. In other places, $10 for a year. And you are paying $40 just for parking? Not talk about the fuel? And maintenance? It is it, 4 million US dollars it costs in a year. 4 million US dollars for parking, fueling, and maintenance of a plane. Just every year. Just every year. Day in there. 4 million US dollars. That will take care of 4 million children. And you are still going to that church and giving tithe there. You are still going to that church and giving offering there. Mumu, mumu don't cash you now. Mumu don't, they have hypnotized you. They have brainwashed you. How can you who is poor, who is struggling, who cannot pay for private school or even secondary school for your children, you cannot pay no more, no more, no more fee for your own children. You they take them to some people every month, every every month. The little you have, the media you have, you are taking it to somebody who can buy you, buy your village, buy your relatives. And you are still going to make him richer every day. You crazy? I'm sorry, sir. Forgive me for my language because I just don't know what to say again. You know, you know, I'm sorry, guys. But, you know, the thing that beat me, use your mind. <laughs> I'm sorry for people who are not Nigerians here, sir, guys. <laughs> Let's use our common sense. Why should you be making the rich richer when the poor are dying? Practically dying out of hunger near you, all around you. And you are talking some religious language to me? That is my tithe. It belongs to God. Okay, you, you don't live in church? Didn't Jesus tell you that if you want to give to me, I am the one who is hungry. I was hungry. Now maybe that. I am the one. He didn't say bring it to church. Where did God say take it to church? He said, I was hungry. So look for those who are hungry if you want to give. I was naked. Look for those who are naked. That's what the people to give to. I was in prison. I was sick. Look for the sick. This is all talking about giving to the people who are, you know, underprivileged. People who are Suffering people who are disenfranchised from the society. That is what giving to God means. Giving to God is not giving to church. Church, you don't even know what the church is using it for. But on the other hand, if you know what your church is using it for, if your church accounts before you, okay, then you can give to that church. Because if the church is using it well, beautiful. Like the Catholics did. They will go and build church, they will go and build school, they will bring everybody free of church, hospitals. That's okay. If you know what your church is using it for, beautiful, give it to church. But if you are not, if they are not reporting to you, 
If you are not give, giving you the account and you are not seeing with your own koro koro eye what they are do, using it for, you go and use your, that same your koro koro eye and look for the hungry, look for the naked, look for the ones in hospital and use it. You are giving it to God direct that way without any middleman. Now you are using middleman. Love will protect the neighbor. You remember what that Cain said? Am I my brother's keeper? Yes. Am I? That means keeper means protector. Yeah. Love is the brother's protector. Love protects everyone. Love. The Bible says love your neighbor. That means protect your neighbor. That means be your brother's keeper. So if my brother is dying of hunger and I say I love and I pass by him to take money to some geos. I'm not my neighbor's keeper that way. If my village and people are hungry, you know, things, all kind of things, all kind of needy people around me, and I'm not noticing them, I'm not providing for them, I don't have love, I'm not my brother's keeper. That's what it means, I'm not my brother's protector. But love will protect. If you love, you will protect. Love always protects. If you have been watching our videos and maybe you enjoy them, maybe you don't enjoy them, but still, we need you to help us spread the word. And for that to happen, we only need you to take five little steps. Please help us spread this word by liking the video. Then, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also need you to press the notification button and the way to do that is to click on the bell. You see the bell there? Click on it. Then, of course, leave your comments. Let us know what you're thinking about each video. And finally, we need you to go and share the world. Share this video on your Facebook timeline, on your uh, Instagram, and every other platform that you have. Alright? Let's win the world for Christ. Thank you so much.